Welcome to the stream today, we will be doing ASMR commentary. Here we have 2G the Ganon vs Vivid the Falcon. In winners round 1, which is in fact a best of 3. Now, I hope everyone's having a lovely day as 2G goes aside. Oh, that's okay, for one viewer, I just wanted to commentate because I have a bit of time before my round 1. And that is the nipple hitbox sending up and out. Very interesting as TV does take game one. Now, will we see a. What, I wonder what stage we're going to see here as a counter pick from Vivid. Thanks. I don't, I don't think this is good content. Did you want to commentate? That's, that's okay. <sighs> Alright, going into game two, we have Battlefield, uh, pretty good for Falcon. Unsure how it does for Ganondorf, but I think Ganondorf uh, can hold his own on this stage. Um, he, get, he gets edge guarded on every stage, but getting juggled, I feel like, is a big deal for Ganondorf. Um, the 2D does have some interesting landings. The empty land into dash attack, catching Vivid off guard, and he's got him on the platforms now. Vivid retaliating with a dash attack on his own, charging an up smash, catching him, mashing out his hit stun. Falcon can across the stage, not op opting to try and ledge trap instead. Serve an edge guard. Ooh, up the out of shields. That's the Vivid special. Or a Falcon special. Vivid just likes up B. I see a lot of up B out of shields from him. Is it because I space aerials bad? Who knows? So you know, that was a well spaced aerial. He just likes up being. Alright, that was a very well spaced Falcon kick from Vivid. The jab getting him off stage. Not going to edge guard here. Does someone lose his stock at two early now? I like this Ganondorf. This is interesting. This is a very patient Ganondorf, must might I say. He's platform camping him. <laughs> Vivid is catching where he's drifting. Ganondorf it doesn't have the best maneuvering. Um, the up tilt keyframe? Interesting choice. I have seen it hit. Forward air finally taking that first up from Vivid. Let's see if he can uh, get some momentum back down the side, not side beat. Oh, that S actually would have taken it pretty quickly. I like these down B approaches that Vivid's doing. Always keeping 2G on their toes. Just the two players. Uh, 2G has bought it back a bit. Ganondorf's survivability is 
somewhat interesting. I don't know if Bracket's working, but I'll get it for you, Anta. No way, I got you, I got you. Oh, hold on, I got you. Ah, there you go. No, 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 hold on, wait, that's an admin. Oh, that's an admin page. This is an embedded version of Twitch chat? Oh, that's not good. Uh, all right. Don't worry, I got you. Oh, you got it? Okay, sorry. It's very even between these two players. Vivid missing the Nair 1. I don't know if a up tilt 2 frame is an automatic clip. Who's 2G? I don't know, he's just a Ganon who sort of rocked up and he's like pretty good. He's a very patient Ganondorf, he loves his platforms. He knows when to engage and when to disengage. Oh, that was a beautiful up smash, catching the empty hop from Vivid. I think Vivid's getting a bit nervous here, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, up smash doing it. Uh, not just yet. Ooh, not getting a jump read that he was looking for. Are we going to see a dash attack or up smash? This is scary percent for Vivid. Any aerial from Ganon is going to put him in a terrible position. Up smash catching his empty hop. Back air, he catches him mashing out of disadvantage. Are we going to see an edge guard? Oh, the up B tech. Oh. <laughs> players exchanging compliments after the match. Alright, I gotta go. See ya.
Game. Top 